Hello, Spazites! Today, on this channel here, uh, we're gonna do a review. I'm President Business. Yeah. Yeah. On to the review. Take it away, Gizmo Spaz. Well, it appears my channel has been taken over by President Lord Business. Today we are doing a review of Lego set 70809 from the Lego movie, Lord Business's Evil Lair. Now, I'm no good at voices. <clears throat> well, someday I hope to be. I want to be a voice actor! But I know I can't, I cannot do a Will Ferrell voice for the life of me. But anyway, let's get to it. There's a lot to review in this set, a lot of neat stuff. I'm gonna show you some unique pieces and some awesome stuff. Let's move this box and show the set. Here it is. Look at it in all of its glory. Now let me, uh, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit there. There we go, so we can see everything. Uh, first of all, let's, uh, Let's uh, put all that aside right now. We have a bunch of unique pieces for Lord Business, President Business. We have a cape that is shaped like a big red tie. Who does that remind you of right now? Um, we have some unique legs. Now these legs are designed in a way that this section right here, uh, I didn't want to break it or anything, but I'm pretty sure those are permanently inside the legs. So this is a very unique piece right here from the black up to there that's that's one piece it's it's built it's put together but it's one piece as far as I know these these do not come out they wiggle a little but they're they're on there good and then I had to build these completely but anyway so in order to build president business into Lord business you take his legs off <clears throat> let me um, boom I am going to Zoom in and focus. There we go. Take his legs off. You take his head and hair off. So, first you put on the red cape. And then you put on his <clears throat> unique shoulder armor. There's another a red tie there. Now, I've never seen this piece in another set before. It doesn't look familiar anyway. They could easily use that in a different piece paint that a different color, put an extra like line on it or something so it doesn't resemble a tie. But once you got that, you then put that over the head like that. Then you put his head back on. Oh, here's another thing. The back of his head has that on it. Yet you never actually see that. Um, you might see that and we'll look in a second. But you don't see that when he's got his hair on. You only see a little tiny bit of it. So let's take the hair back off. Come on, hair. There we go. Hair back off. Okay, focus back over there. Put his head on. And then here is another unique piece. This is his helmet. Now this part is added and these cups are added. But other than that, this helmet is all put together permanently, glued together. There's like three or four different pieces involved in making this helmet. But then you put that on there and now we'll uh, we'll take a quick look at the back of the head here and see that you, you all you see is that little tiny piece again. So I don't even know why they put that paint application on the back of his head. But now he has been transformed into Lord Business from President Business. And you have his uh, extra hair and pants there. So I usually keep that on the uh, little couch accessory in the background for the uh, Where's My Pants set. So anyway, we'll put him aside now and do a quick review on the other figures that are included. We have Vitruvius. Now Vitruvius got quite a bit of, uh, he got quite a few different figures in this series, which is cool. But here we have his uh, cape, uh, shiny goes on the inside there like that, I don't know why. Um, he's got his white eyes because he's blind. And here is his, uh, his Ed Up Sucker. And 
And let me see. Does he have a different... He does have a different face, but you can barely see it. I've got him in sad face mode. You can barely see it with his beard and hair on. So I like his sad face mode because Vitruvius, see, I mean, he's just sad. It always made me sad. But here's Vitruvius. You can see his tie-dye shirt underneath because he's a hippie. Uh, let's see. Next we have Emmett. Here's Emmett. I've got him in his worried face, as usual. Uh, here's his determined classic minifigure face. He's also got his piece of resistance on there. <clears throat> so there's Emmett. Once again, you can see his name tag says Emmett on it, which is really cool and cute. Uh, E-M-M-E-T. And then we have Bad Cop's parents. Now I've got them in their super glue trap, their craggle, their craggle trap. Um, they also, I believe, have two different faces. They have worried and happy. Look at that. So that's Bad Cop's parents. Now this set does not come with Bad Cop. There's his parents after they've been hit by the craggle. And I know this is an older set, but uh, I didn't get it until recently. I put it together a while ago. You've actually probably seen a sneak peek of it in the uh, background of some of my recent videos. I don't know why I've waited so long to do it, but I did, and here we are. We're uh, now doing it. Here's one of the accessories is the couch from Where's My Pants. Uh, I think it's got a little bit of dust on it, and I apologize for that. But it's got... Uh, bunch of different pieces that took to build this which is really cute uh, when all is said and done though you can only fit like one minifigure on there officially because they'll you know they need extra space for their arms and blah 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 but there you go uh, another minifigure we have is a, a unique version of Unikitty aka Business Kitty she's got uh, dollar signs and different uh, things all over her which is hilarious uh, but here's uh, Princess Unikitty, a.k.a. Business Kitty. This is the only set that you can get Business Kitty in, which uh, I think every Unikitty set is unique. I'm not sure, but that's what I think. I think that Unikitty is unique in every set that she appears in. But there's Unikitty, the magical princess of Cloud Cuckoo Land. Okay, next we have, and I'm going to grab him out of here. We have one of our master builders. We have our luchador, or lucha libre. We have a wrestler. We have a Mexican wrestler figure. And uh, just, like, just like from the movie. Look at that. I don't really have anything special to say about him. He's just another minifigure. He just happens to be a master builder. Yay! And he was uh, up in one of the uh, things up here, which I'll show you in a minute, to sap all their energy. So now we are going to start into the actual set itself, which is kind of big. I just took this battery off. I built a 9-volt. Look at that. 9-volt built out of many different Lego pieces to do this set. So, boom. The 9-volt goes on the end of... I'm just going to pull this out. I'm going to zoom out a little and focus. There we go. Let's just show everything that way. So the 9 volt goes on the end of this thing. Boom. There. Now it's powered. Here's our craggle up here. Let me zoom out a little more so we can see more. Okay. Here's our craggle out here. It's on a posable arm. And then all these little things here are also posable so that we can grab it. And then there's the hose going down to this. Here's our craggle. Now I have to do this justice by lifting this up and showing you all the close-up of this thing. Because this thing is pretty neat. This is our craggle gun. And I'll turn this around carefully so that you can see the mechanism here to close and open the door. That's how we got that. And we have here, there's a thing here as well. Um, 
where is something I forgot how that is activated is it activated through this huh oh there we go this comes out and the character falls off the back here but I'm not sure why that's like that but anyway over here we have our these are our pods where our figures go to suck out all their imagination and down here is our our meeting room and in the meeting room you actually place this table man I should have dusted these first this table it's got four swiveling chairs other than that nothing special about it it is a it was a cute little build and it's a little accessory the uh, character's legs don't fit under the chairs, but they are in such a way that they can all face the table when they're on the table, or they can all sit sideways. So, I think the characters can actually sit in here. Unfortunately, the only character is Lord Business that would, you know, have anything to do with this. And then here, over here is the set of Where's My Pants. You've got a couple of studio lights there and some framing. And then to go with that, we have our special uh, studio camera, which is actually pretty cool. Um, I wish it came with a couple of like the robots that uh, President Business had around so that, uh, you know, we'd have like a film crew or something at least uh, I know that we've got the Where's My Pants guy is in the uh, minifigure collection from the series. Uh, but anyway, I think that's it for now. I really love this set. There's a lot to it. It's a lot of fun. We are almost out of time, so I'm going to say that uh, that's, that's enough for this one. Uh, I did a lot here. I know I wasn't exactly on point with my...